Interestingly, though, the Uruguayans, let's not forget, they are the only rugby nation in the last 20 years to have eaten their own players. Yeah. So they're the only cannibalistic uh, rugby nation to be at this uh, Rugby World Cup. So this is the second biggest upset in Uruguayan rugby career. Mm-hmm. What's the second? The, fir- the yeah. first one was when they ate each other in the Alp Andes. Well, when their plane uh, went into the Andes and yeah. then they ate each other. I took a bit of movie? a movie. I haven't seen the movie, but I took a bit of a deep dive into the Wikipedia page last night after that uh, that upset and some some really some really disgusting stuff in there. Uh, they were they were eating the leather off the seats in the plane first before they all sort of decided that they were going to cannibalize each other. And um, apparently now though they get back together once a year for a meal, which I can imagine will be one of the most awkward meals. What do you serve at that meal? Poor? You not you don't serve pig, I wouldn't think. Yeah, you no. don't serve pork belly. Well, I mean Fiji. Um, obviously, this is reasonably close to Vanuatu, but South Pacific, the last known uh, cannibal case, 1982. So, uh, and then that, I believe, happened in the 1980s. I think it was after 1982, that, uh, that alive situation. Would you, would you, if you were playing Uruguay, would you sledge them, you know, like the bottom of a rut go, why don't, you, why don't you eat me, you cannibal? Yeah, I would start a dialogue with the other members of my teammates in the Fijian team at the bottom of every rut. I'd be like, I'd probably eat this bloke. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that guy. I'd probably go to the lock there. Oh, look at and that guy. Just, yeah, keep that dialogue running. At look, the at the, look at the rump on that guy. I wouldn't mind having a... I'm going to suck on that. Well, if we were to eat bits of the All Blacks, I mean, let's be honest, I'd carve off a bit of uh, Kieran Reid's ear and then fry that. I'd slice it up like you'd slice up power. Mm. And a uh, bit of garlic, bit of butter in a fry pan, and I think that'd be, that'd be quite tasty. It would be, but you're going to need to cook it for quite a long time. I think that's a low and slow type thing because it's going to be quite tough. He's got quite uh, scarred yeah, ears. Grisly. Yeah, so you'd want to do that overnight. Maybe um, some sort of meat rub, a lot of salt, and then low and slow. Maybe smoke it even if I was... Would you feed dog rolls dog roll to your dog? Yeah, I'd feed dog rolls dog roll to my dog. I do feel like you'd probably eat the dog first in that scenario, but... Yeah, that's right. If you've got a dog there, then eat the dog. <laughs> the ACC Special Agenda Podcast. Thanks to the TAB.